it's not personal word it's not for, just for someone there it's for every one of us and i believe to make us wiser and make us to know better and better in jesus name amen, yeah, amen. but then it's it's just uh, it's, it's a form of an advice uh it, it's a form of comforting and it's a form of teaching us how to live a better life as children of god and the title this month says let your actions represent your imaginations praise master jesus let your action represent your imagination let every action you take represent the imagination of your heart let every action you take represent what you are actually thinking in your mind yesterday he will try to do it this morning. Our father was making me to understand that humanity are so cruel. Humanity are, are so dangerous that you can hardly understand them. You can hardly know that most of his children, their actions do not tell about their, their, their imagination. What they, what they imagine their heart is different and what they are doing is so different. And by so doing, it, 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 it's making him to be angry. It makes him uncomfortable. So even in the holy sector, his children are not doing well. They will be saying one thing in their mouth, in their mind, and what they are doing in their, in, what they are doing out there is different. They will be pretending loving in their, in, with their actions, but in their mind, what they are actually saying is different. They will come to him and say they are worshipping him, but in their actual mind, they are not there at all. They will come and say they are singing, they will sing, and we will be shaking, but they are not there with him. I say it's not making him happy. He that searches the heart is trying the heart of man. And many people are going to hell like this. You say, ah, this man, I thought this man was always there in prayer, prayer meeting, was always there preaching, was always there doing everything. And this man was up and doing. But meanwhile, his heart, her heart was not there. That's why the Bible told us in uh, Jeremiah 17 verse 9, the heart is deceitful above all things. Praise Master Jesus. This page I'm reading right now was not there before. He just gave me this one right now. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? He just threw this Bible, Bible now in my spirit now. It was not among the Bible pages, pages I wrote that before. The heart is deceitful. Is your heart deceitful? Above all things, and desperately wicked, who can know it? But say, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the rain, even to, the, to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. Jeremiah 17, 9 to 10. I, the Lord, search the heart. The Lord knows that the intent of your mind. The Lord knows that the action you are taking is different from your imagination. The action you are taking right now is different from your, from your the, what the, what is inside of you is different from what you are what you are possessing out there, and it is a dangerous thing to do. It's so dangerous to be living such life. You are acting very well. Art outwardly, but your heart is full of other things. Your imagination, you are loving that sister. You are that's that believe you are loving her or you are loving her, him, but instead of you, you are not. Your mind is calculating, you are calculatively calculating to how to hit him one day. But outwardly, you are pretending that you are in love with the person. Praise Master. And he said to say, almost all my children are involved in this. In my service, there is so. 
In friendship, is so. Even in marriage, it is evil so. So he said, it's, it's something that everyone must repent from, including he that is preaching right now. No wonder our brother says in, in a, uh, Psalm 50, I told you I was not preaching, I'm only saying what our father said we should learn from. Psalm 55 verse 21. Said the word, said the word of his mouth was smoother than butter. David was talking to, to, to friends around him. David was talking to people, he thought they were his people. He said the word of his mouth was smoother than butter. But his heart was, in, say, but, but war was in his heart. Hey, I love you, sister. Hey, God bless you. Like all these Catholic people, they are, 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 they Praise Mother Jesus. So gentle, so, so, so meek outwardly. But you, you have got to open your eyes when they are praying in their meeting. When they are eating flesh in their meeting, you will know who they are. Praise Mother Jesus. When they are in their meeting, you see, you know how whole they are. They are like this, this animal that looks like cats. Who know this? Who know, who know that animal? Um, the, 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 the lion. It's what like it's like, it's like a cat. Is it, is it, yeah, I forgot that animal. Very very subtle. Move gently, 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 gently. But don't try it. It's so gentle in movement. That animal that can climb up, that can, it can tear somebody at, 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 in, 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 a, in a second. You all know the animal I'm talking about. Praise Mother Jesus. If you look at the animal, you think, hey, this animal is so gentle, so quiet. So it, it moves like that. It looks like cats, just be walking, small. But it's calculatively calculating you. It can, be, it can be in the bush. You don't hear the movement in the bush. They sound like, like all these Catholic people. Ah, this, all these priests. All of them. But if they hit you, you are finished. Then he says, The word of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His word were softer than oil, yet drawn out sword. Yet, we are dead draw sword. Psalm 55, verse 21, 55, 21, right? Psalm 55, verse 21. These are the life human beings, humanity are living today. Praise Master Jesus. They, they speak so sweet words to you. They are so, they are so meek in doing this. You want to even say, ah, this person is next to Jesus Christ. But, the heart is like Saproka. The heart is like America base. Where, where America keep weapon. That's how the heart is burning. Praise Master Jesus. So, the Lord is telling me this morning, I'm telling you, let your actions represent your imaginations. The Bible told us, out of our bond, out of our mouth, speak about today no more. Your heart is full of abundance of evil, but your mind is speaking good things. Your heart is full of devising wickedness. How to break that home. How to destroy that man. How to scatter that ministry. But you are praying as if you are there to build the ministry. You are, you are living with that sister as if you are there to build a home. But meanwhile, you are putting fire in that, in that family. You are about to, cr to cross that family down. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible told us in Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. Jesus Christ understood this. He said, These people draw near unto me with their mouth. These people draw near to me with their mouth. Are you not such people? 
You, are you ask yourself, am I not such person now? That the Lord is talking about this morning. These people draw to me or honor at me with their lips. But their heart is far, 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 far away. Their heart is not close to me at all. They think as if ah, I am so close to them. I don't know them. They don't, they don't even know me and they don't care to know me. All they need is I want people to recognize me. That's why you see some people leave their prostitute house, still come to church and handle mic and sing unto the Lord. To their Lord, the Lord their Father, not the God that we serve. Oh. That's why you see some, some pastors, they will go, they will go and sleep with, the, sleep with a married woman, still come and say, hey, Jesus loves you. And, and you are blessed. Say, these people draw near to me. Matthew 15, verse 8. These people is talking about you. You are the one he's talking about, sister. We are the one he's talking about here. These people draw near unto me with their mouth and honor at me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the, the commandment of men. All you are doing is the praise of men. All you are doing is the recognition of men. But you are you are recognized by men, but God, where you are where you ought to have been recognized in the book of life, you are not there. Heaven don't know you. But men are praising you. Heaven don't know you. But people are thinking, if it happened now, you are the first person to fly away. But if it happened, there is no even any iota that you will fly away. It's no time that we change our ways. It's no time that we say that we tell that person, "I love you," and you know, let the love come from your heart. I care about you, and whenever you want to bring that person down, whenever you want to speak about that person. In evil way, you forget everything. That is when you start pouring out what is in your heart. Whenever somebody touch you, in that, if somebody can be able to touch you at that place of your heart, and then they will know who you are, really. Hey, I love this man of God. And hey, man of God, I love you so much, you. Hey, uh, sister, I love you so much, you. Let somebody else now call you and tell you, hey, I hope nobody's there or see nobody's there. Hmm, that man of God. Don't mind him. Oh. I hate him. Say, hey, evil me. Oh. Hmm. I hate him. But he is to this. He to that. That is when you are saying the right, the, the, the real thing you are behind in your mind. But immediately that person will drop the mic. Let I mean drop the phone. Let the same man of God call you. Hey, sit down. Hey, hey, man of God. God bless you, sir. Hey, hey, God bless you, man of God. And I will just tell you somebody about you now. How good you are. Is that what you were saying? Uh. We just finished this discussion about you now. Hey, man of God, you are, you are sent by God. Hey. And what you discussed was totally different. You just spoil his name. You just spoil her name. You just damage her money. My damage and marriage, but now you are saying another thing. Sister, it's high time to let our actions start representing our imagination. Let our talking represent our thinking. Most of us, our talking is not in line with our thinking. Our actions is not in line with, that, with our imagination. You, you, you can't balance it. You can't balance it. Let me tell you something, what my father told me, until a child of God is able to balance his thinking with, her, with his talking and assure with his imagination, you are already here. This is the last prerequisite to enter the kingdom of God. This is the last test for every human being. It's after all you have done, do not check your ability to balance your talking with your thinking. Your ability to balance your action with your emo with I mean with your imagination. Then uh -huh, you are free for heaven. 
But if not, if your action is saying another thing, your imagination is saying another thing, your talking is another thing, and your thinking is another thing, my brother and sister, forget about it too. Forget about it. It's even better. Your, your action is arm, arm robber. And your imagination was how to destroy really the two are balanced. The Lord will know how to help you. But when your inner mind is arm robber, and what you are doing out there is a saint, hey, you are in danger. You are in danger yourself. Oh, you better repent now. Men of God of this mountain, we better repent now. You know, God, in this ministry, we better repent now. You are there. You better repent now. Praise Master Jesus. Because the Lord is so serious. About, I don't know what to do about these people anymore. They are so corny. They are so corny. Where will where we humanity change from this behavior? Even to get, I even told them, out of that board of heart, my speakers, if they will learn from their attack, I start balancing their, their, their words with their thinking. Yet, they are still, they are still like Satan, the devil, their, their, their father. Let me tell you something. Whoever is living in sin, Satan is his or her father. Praise Master Jesus. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Praise Master Jesus. Isaiah 29, verse 13. Please go there. Say, wherefore, wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near, draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, they honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their, their fear towards me is, is taught by the precept of men. These people draw near to me with their mouth and with their lips they honor me. But they have removed their half, heart far from me. They are on the mountain, but their heart is, 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 a, is a, the valley. Their body is the church, but their mind is a native daughter. Their body is here, but their mind is in synagogue of Satan. How to call, they are praising a Lord Jesus, we love you here. But how to call Steve Joshua is what is their mind right now. How to call the next fake prophet is what they are thinking right now. And there's somebody there right now that is in this state right now. You are in the presence of God, but your mind is not there. Your mind is thinking, hey, have I lost the number of that man, that fake man? But they will tell you, sing, hey, okay, amen, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you, and you start singing. Meanwhile, you are in there. Oh, and see, the prayer. Hey, okay, hey, in Jesus' name, uh, the number. Uh, okay, okay, the number is, 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 is there. Hey, amen. Let us pray. Who is deceiving who? Who is deceiving who? You have forgotten that hell is still real? You have forgotten that hell is still real? Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 64, verse 6, they search out iniquity. They accomplish it, complete, complete a, de, a diligent search. But the inward thought of every one of them and their heart is deep. Very deep. Their heart is so deep. Their thought is very, very, very sweet. But their heart is so deep, they search, they search our things diligently, quietly. Their heart is so deep. The heart of man is so deep. They do things very quietly, very subtly, but they, their mind, you can never get them. You can never understand them. The more you study them, the less you understand them because their heart is evil. Evil in the whole sector is like that. And we are saying we are going to heaven. What? Jesus Christ was never like that. It can never be like that. God, who are you going to meet in heaven? No, you can't meet him. 
you can only meet him in his nature. Let us make man in our own image and likeness until you are not the image of God and his likeness. Forget about heaven. Praise Mother Jesus. The Bible says in First uh, 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 Samuel 16 verse 7, but Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on his height or his statue, because I have refused him, for the Lord searched the heart. Praise the Lord. For thus yet not as mercy, for men look on the outward appearance, but the Lord look on the heart. You can pretentiously pretend. And people thinking, ah, this person is so qualified. This person is next to Jesus. This person is next to God. But God has said that he had known that you are not what you are thinking that you are. You are so different. You are evil worse than the devil. That's why the Lord, even though you put your trouser as a woman, you put your necklace, the Lord still, is still concerned about your, about your heart. Your heart is not reflecting your body. Your body is saying other thing. Your body is showing you as a holy woman. See, look at this. What, what, this is what they call mothers or sisters in Catholic. If God opens your eyes, it will know what they are doing. The atrocity they are doing. Thank God I have a sister here who was one of them before. I won't mention her name now. She has gone far with them. But God brought her out of there. When he told me how they kill babies, babies that all these priests are uh, impregnating them, to, to, priests will impregnate them. They will keep them in the house inside there for the nine months when they deliver the, the mother, their mother will just come, take the baby, just drop the baby inside. They say, Well, that they drop the babies. The baby will cry anywhere there and die there. He said the way is a deck well. So every major Catholic, every Catholic that they have, all these sisters, they have that well. Nobody knows what well, that well is full of the bones of little children. She was involved in it. Praise Master Jesus. They say all this Vatican, or what they call them, all this uh, prison, they, 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 they mess them up at any time. You, come. You, come. See, they sleep with them the way they like. But when they come and, hey, sister, sister Janet, how are you? They, 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 are, they, are, they are so meek in nature. But the evil, they are, say, say their heart, they teach them how, how their heart to be set up. They teach them how to hide in the heart. All these, say all this uh, so-called you call them uh, mothers, uh, mother, mother uh, Christiana, uh, Sister Teresa. All those, say, they are taught how to hide in the heart and how to come out as if they are holy. It's a training. That night we discussed. I said, "Wow." See, see, I I was one of his, his see, to, to, I don't know how God pulled me away from them. She's writing the book now about them. They are calling her everywhere. I would I would mention what's his name. Even my president, one 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 from from America, call her one day. We learn you are normal with us. He said, Yes. Are you not afraid? Don't you know that anybody that live Catholic we, we go mad? See, <laughs> he said, my dear, I can't go, man. Hey, don't you believe in a sort of sacred again? Do you not believe in a... The man was just talking. What about a, a, the holy a, something? You, you must say, all those things are lies. They say, open to the Bible. Will you see this, this thing in our Bible? And the man said, hey, so you are not afraid again. You are talking back to me like that? Say, say sir, that time I passed through. That time you were... That time you were who, who I thought you are. Now I know all of you are not what you think you are. She was so bold to talk to the man like that that day. After everything, she said, don't, 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 forget them. I know how the key children in that place. That well is full of bones. Little children bones. 
But when we come out, I uh, get that. This is uh, as I go that script, you think, uh, hey, this sister is so pure and holy. Some of them actually go there thinking they are pure. It is because you said the first thing they do, they make sure your parents swear that they are no more, they don't have anything to do with, do with you anymore. They now they say they are so deceitful to make sure that your parents tell you, tell them, hey, we have handed over him or her over to you. It's no more our child now. So whatever they do to you, even though you die there, your, the, your parents will be happy. Hey, yes, our daughter have got to go and wait for us over there in heaven. So that when we get to Bogatry, our child will help us to beg God for, for us to leave Bogatry. If they kill you there, they will tell your children, they will tell your parents, hey, don't be, don't cry, okay? She has gone to wait for you in Bogatry. So to, in case you come, so please, you will be happy. They thank God she did not die there. You will not die in your sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let your actions represent your imagination. Let your speech represent your thoughts. It's the only way you can make it. Praise Master Jesus. Psalm 55 verse 12 to 14. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Listen very well, sister. It was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have borne it. I would have known what to do. The poison I'm going through now is not somebody that I don't know that poisoned me. It is that sister that we pray together that poisoned me. It is that brother that we pray together that poisoned me. That brother that, 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 that is in grave right now. It is not an enemy that killed him. It is that sister that says, I love you so much. They are the ones that they went to, to, they went out together. They went to a place to eat together and he poisoned him there. She poisoned him there and the brother is dead now. It was the girlfriend that poisoned him that killed him. It was the woman he thought he loved that poisoned his drink and the man, the man is dead. It was the pastor they prayed together. That he shared testimony with how God is blessing him. That killed him. I gave us a story one time. A brother I know very well is even related to my, to, my, to my wife. God so used him mightily. He came back. The pastor was, hey, ah, they gave him a car. The man rejoiced with him. Not knowing that this man, his heart is saying another thing. Hey, brother, is it Pele, Pele, that is his name, I can't, I can't remember again. Hey, okay, hey, God is mighty, let us come and pray together tomorrow morning. Take it the way, he, he, hey, uh, uh, welcome, this is car, uh, uh, in the name of Jesus, this car, you will not need to get accident, you are blessed, this car, the, the oil will never run dry, the fuel will always be there. Mm. He was happy. The next day, let us come and pray together, he followed him. He closed his eyes tight because he believed and prayed, Oh God, have mercy, humanity. He closed his eyes very well, thinking he was praying with someone that loved him. If not, he would have opened one of his eyes to know that he's removing knife. He closed his eyes as he was praying. He put a knife and took him, took him, took him, took him on the altar, made sure he finished him. And the brother died. The heart, the man told him yesterday, hey, thank God for what God has done for you. For the car they gave to you in that place you went to. But the next day, he killed him in the altar. Why? Why, humanity? Will you not do so that you say, hmm, are you not worse? Is it because the one, what you are doing, the stab you are stabbing people on the back is, is, is even worse. That one kill with life, but the, the one that is using mouth to kill is worse. You kill people every day with your mouth. But the same person you just spoke about now, when, when the person comes, hey, hey, my brother, hey, my brother, I love you so much. What are we doing? But it was not, an, I'm reading Psalm 55 and 12. It was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have bought it. 
Neither was it he that hated me, that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hired myself from him. Verse 13 and 14. But it was you. It was thou a, thou, thou a man, my equal, my love, my companion, my co-apostle, my co-pastor, my co-prayer band, my co-sister, my guide. You know what's called guide? Guide is your protector. My guide, my trust, is so you trust you can put, put as your guide. My guide, my acquaintance, somebody that we are closely close together. We are acquainted together. When I want to eat your food, I will not doubt. I don't need to pray before I fight. I don't, hey, hey, man, hey, hey, we start eating. I wouldn't doubt you. I wouldn't pray too much, start casting out demons. If there's any place I, I bring you, I, no, I don't care. I don't care about that because I know I'm eating with somebody that I trust. So we, we, we took sweet counsel together. We planned the, the progress of the ministry together. We pray the progress of my family together. I tell you the next move I'm about to make. We tell each other the next move, but meanwhile, you are it there. You are only getting information. All those prayers is to get my prayer point to nail me down. All those are advisors asking, hey, hey, brother, what is the next thing now? It to know how to get ahead of me. Sister, hey, hey, your husband, how is, how is your husband now? Hey, my husband is fine. Hey, I hope he's doing you well, oh. Uh, hey, hey, sister, tell me what is, eh. Uh, 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 I know that uh, there's something that uh, was uh, You just need that air uh, so that you can know where to nail them down. But you think you need that air uh, so you can you can pray for them. Mm, humanity, when are we going to change? We take we took sweet counsel together and walk on to the house of God in company. I am not afraid when I'm walking with you. Sweet cancer, and we walk together, pari pasu, to the house of God. If we we'll get there, we stay together in the same chair. I don't want to leave you because I, I know you are my brother. You don't want to leave me because you say, I am your brother. Before I go, I must make sure I wait for you. We go together so I can tell you about my husband as we are going on the street. So I can tell you about myself as we are going on the street so you can help me. Not only that, you are having a tape recording with you to record me and go and hit me down. That man I thought is my enemy is even though that love me. That sister I think hates me. That when, whatever I do, he challenged me straight to my head, to my eyes. It's even the one I, that loved me, I thought it's the one that hates me. That brother, whenever I'm missing it, he said, hey, Apostle, what you are doing I, is not supposed to be so. Sister, what you are doing now is wrong. That is the person I love you, but that one is telling you, hey, it is well, okay? Hey, keep on. It's killing you. Sweet counsel. But evil manifestation. Brethren, it's hard time. It's hard time we give Christ a chance. It's our time we live as He that created us. It's our time we become who we need to be. We know, there's no more time again, how Satan was so subtle. How he, he, he called me Eve. Another thing was in the mind of Satan. That's why all these people that are like that, they are satanic, they are Satan in nature. Another thing was in the mind of the devil. And he was telling Eve another thing. He knew he wanted to nail Eve forever. He knew he wanted to make humanity to be against God forever. And he told Eve, ah, I want to be like God. You were going to read Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. I want you to be like God. I want you to be wise. I want you to be happy. Meanwhile, that was the end of the joy of a man. In his mouth, he was telling Eve, I want to be happy. But in his heart, he knew, 
I want to give Eve the, the greatest sorrow of her life. Praise Master Jesus. Brethren, the Bible told us in Proverbs chapter 5, verse 1 to 5. I read it through. My son, I attend unto my wisdom. The Lord is speaking here right now. My daughter, my son, I attend unto my wisdom. I bore the ears to my understanding. I know better than you. I hear better than you. I am the one that formed the ears. I hear better than you. I am the one that formed the brain. I am more wiser than you. That thou mayest regard description. Description. Proverbs 5. 1 to 5. Verse 2. That thou may regard discretion and that thy least may keep knowledge. Be careful. For the least of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb. Hmm. Please be careful whenever you want to answer that strange woman in your, your marriage. Be careful whenever you want to answer that friend. It's a strange friend. You better know. Say, Father, reveal this person to me. Before I start opening my mouth now. For the list of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, very sweet. And her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter and her end is bitter as warm wood. When you put the word in your mouth, very sweet. But when you, when you swallow it, you will see the bitter inside of it. Sharp as two-edged sword. Her feet go down to, to death. Her step take hold on her. Can't you see? We men of God, will you learn lesson now? Daughter of Zion, will you learn lesson now? That person that's so close to you. The Lord saying, the, the feet of that person go down to, to death. He want to kill you. Though he or she pray with you. Her step, take hold on her. Whoever that come in contact, go to hell. Daughter of God. Children of God. Throughout the night, when the Lord was teaching me this, this, this place, I said, wow, what is this? What is this? He said, this are, hum this are humanity for you. I was with Judas Carrot for three years. Evil was in his heart. Anytime I preached to them, he would go to, this, to, to, to the Pharisees and Sadducees and eat with them, dine with them, and start telling them things about me. But I knew him. Because I knew everybody. But tell my children, you might not know that person. So therefore, you have to be careful. I went in the way that I was supposed to go. But if you die in the hand of that your friend, because carelessness, because of, you see, I, I am so open. I is talking to me like that because I know who I am. Some of us, our heart is like drum. The first day we meet somebody, we just lose. We can easily be lost. For that strange woman, for that strange friend, for that strange brother, we lose at any time. Not knowing that they emanated from her. Their feet go down to her. And their, 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 their step is to the step, step to her, and their feet is pulled down to the grave. He warned me, and it's warning you now. If this mystery must grow, I must be careful. If this mystery must, must attain to that level, I must be careful. Because there are so many that are emanating from hell. They will come and pray as if they are next to God. Come and sing as if they are close to, to, to they know God so well. But brother, sisters, we have to be very careful. Ask God to tell you that friend who that friend is. Is this my friend? Is this my very good friend? Is she or he manifesting his imagination? Is he speaking? Is he talking the, the thoughts in his heart? If not, you better reduce your speed now. 
children of God, reduce your speed now. The speed as you are, the speed as, as, that you are going with that person is to, is to, is to is, reduce it now. Yes, that speed is a speed to hell. Praise Master Jesus. The last word of time, Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brethren, finally, children of God, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report in our earth and in heaven, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think and act on these things. This is the word of the Lord. You are one. Don't rush to the grave, sister. You are one. Don't destroy and marry by yourself, brother. You are one. Don't allow this ministry to be crushed by those you think you trust. Be careful. Be careful. You be careful. Set your heart and mind like that. Check your relationship with that person and know who you are now. Because if you die without your evil mind, you are going to hell. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord for all this morning. If you know you are there, you are not born again. You will always have this mind. This mind of evil, doing thinking evil and doing think, think, things that are you think that they are that are good. Meanwhile, what you want to do is in your heart. You need the Lord Jesus Christ to help you. Are you there? You want to surrender to Jesus Christ this morning? Say I'm there. Good. So I think I believe there's somebody out there who need Christ this morning. We were not born again before. Please say after me because time. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you so very much for speaking to me this morning. I realized I believe in against myself. I surrender to you this morning. Come into my life. Wash me clean. Purify me. I know my name is in the book of death. Please take it away and write it in the book of life. I accept you this morning as my Lord and personal Savior. All things have passed away now and all things have become new. Thank you for saving my soul from the pit of hell. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. If you have confessed this word, you are not born again. Congratulations. Heaven are rejoicing over you. And I pray every spirit of dog in you that will make you to go and eat again what you have vomited today. I cast it out of you now in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace to run this race to the end. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord will welcome you on the last day in his kingdom. Joyfully in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The rest of us, I want us to quickly pray a prayer and say, Father, help me. Help me to balance my actions with my um, imagination, my thoughts with my words. Help me, Lord, so that at the end of time, I will not go to hell. Open up and pray. Help me to be genuine in all way of my life. Quickly pray this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the most high God, you have spoken to us, O God, this morning. Father, I ask for mercy in any way, O God. I have been living, O God, up, O God, living opposite myself. Lord Jesus, I ask this morning, help me to balance, O God, my imagination with my action at all times. The words of my mouth, O God, and, O God, what is in my heart at all times. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, every spirit of Satan, every serpent, in us, O God. Let it die now in the name of Jesus Christ. That's your subtlety. Let it die now in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, O God, to live the way you are, to work the way you are, and to be holy the way you are. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.
Amen. This half of God, good time. God bless you as you go out there and put this word to practice. And I pray this word will not be used against me on the last day because Christ is studying every one of us and the word will not be against you on the last day. Rather, your faith correction will live and make heaven at the end of life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's offer time. Yes,